Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I'm doing this sexy date night makeup tutorial. Little bit of exaggeration of your natural features and a nice soft natural-ish look for a date or if you just want to be a sexy beast. I'm going to start out bare face and today I'm going to use my Glean by Melanie Mills Peach Deluxe and Deep Gold Body Radiance. Because I want to look a little bit more tanned. I'm going to take the Peach Deluxe and a blending brush. This is a Zoeva brush. I have to figure out what it's called. And I'm just buffing that in the center of my face to kind of blur any texture or pores, any of that kind of thing and give myself a nice even base. And I'm going to go over with the Deep Gold in the areas I kind of want to contour. This is not a contour. This is just adding warmth to the areas that the sun might hit first. And I'll give that a finger blend. This is also going to give a nice radiance to the skin so you look like you are glowing and I am unfortunately still dealing with a rash on my face so I want to do the most today for skin. Next I'm going to go into the Pro Longwear Foundation by MAC in the color NW43 which is a warm tone and I'm going to put that on over top of the body radiance I just did. This will stay on all night or day whatever time your date is and I'm going to give that a finger blend. I like to use my fingers because it just kind of fills everything in as in pores texture and warms it up to my body temperature so it won't move or settle or crease or whatever and I'm going to do that in layers so that I get everywhere and I'm blending it in kind of all over massaging it into the skin I do like to use um, other like brushes or no I don't next I'm gonna go in with the studio finish by Mac it's a concealer and it is full coverage and this is in the shade NW25. It is a peach undertone and quite a bit lighter than my skin tone so it's perfect as a highlight and I find it lasts a long time because it's over a long wearing foundation and I'm just kind of tapping that on to set it in and going in the highest points of my face. Next with my Morphe E62 brush and my Nova highlighter from Melt Cosmetics. I'm going to do a really soft highlight today so I'm using this darker one first. I used to use two highlights in the past and now that I'm going for kind of like a softer highlight I'm using this to kind of warm up my skin tone and highlight anywhere I want to have that glow without looking too highlighted and frosty and it's a little darker so it'll give me a little bit of warmth I'm also gonna go in with the Dior nude skin air show highlighter the same brush and I'm going to highlight the highest points of my face so just the top of the cheekbones down the center of the nose top of the lip and the same brush I'm gonna go into my makeup forever pro fusion bronze and 35i. All of these products I'm putting on my face are kind of more of a natural finish or skin finish. I want to look nice and glowy. I want the contour to move with me, the bronziness to move with me. I want to look nice and glowy, but I also want to have a very flawless finish. And because my skin has a bit of texture, I'm using a synthetic brush to do all of this so it kind of smooths the product into my skin rather than dusting it on all over top. Because I use a long wearing foundation, I do not set my foundation at all. It kind of sets on its own and especially with all of these long wearing skin finish formulas I don't need to set anything. Next with my Morphe M576 brush and the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze in 30M and I'm going to contour the nose and darken up the creases of my eyes. This is a bit of a cooler tone so it doesn't go red. Sometimes I find when I use the same contour on my cheeks and my nose it goes a little warm because I use bronzer so I like to use a cooler tone bronzer on my nose and in the crease of my eyes and I wouldn't typically use this on my cheeks because I find it goes a little bit muddy so I love both colors but for different reasons next with the Morphe E62 brush that's the same brush as I've been using the whole time and love thing blush uh, by Mac it's a mineralized skin finish so it has a little bit of pearl and a beautiful plummy rosiness and blend that on the apples of my cheeks and with my Anastasia 7b eyebrow brush and the dip brow in Auburn. I'm going to give my eyebrows a comb through to make sure I have no product in there because I'm using such a light color any product that is left in the brows from foundation or whatever can shear the color out so I want to make sure it's nice and clear and I'm going to do little strokes in the same kind of direction that my hair grows going for somewhat of a little bit more of a natural look going to extend the tail a little bit same thing using little strokes in the same way hair kind of grows this is such a light color and don't go too crazy so I can get away with going a little bit more full and it just kind of fills it in it looks a little bit more natural 
for me because if I'm going on a first date, they better know I'm gonna be wearing makeup and plenty of it. So don't wanna go full uh, clubbing, but I wanted to show them I got it popping. Next, I'm gonna go with the Duo Brow Powder by Anastasia in the same brush in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm gonna bold up a few extra little hair swipies just to fill in any gaps that the Auburn missed and just darken it a little bit on the tail. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to comb through with the brow gel in Brunette by Anastasia and I'm just, or sorry, this is Auburn. And I'm going to comb it all the way through so that my brows last all night and hold them in place. Next with the, I think that's the 302 brush by Smith Cosmetics, I'm going to carve out the shape of the bottom of my brows just to clean it up and to give them a little bit of a lift. But this is just my concealer mixed with my foundation so it's not too, too white and I'm not going to dip the brush again but whatever's left over I'm just going to lightly swipe on the very top to clean it up a little bit I don't want it to be too uh, halo-y next with the Too Faced I Want Candy palette by Candy Johnson she's an OG of YouTube I love her very 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 much I'm gonna go in with the color cream puff and I'm gonna use that to absorb any oils or whatever on my lid so that my eyeshadow goes on nice and smooth then I'm gonna go in with the banana cream pie to highlight my eyelid and to to open up that eyelid space a bit. With raspberry cocoa, I'm gonna go on the outer third of my eye and slightly into the crease, buff it into the center-ish. And I'm just using this because it's a nice romantic rosy color and I think it's really beautiful to add a little drama. I usually don't use colors like these, but this is like a perfect balance of warm and cool together. With the shade Hot Chocolate, I'm gonna add in a bit of the drama, blowing it out quite a bit. I'm using a small brush, write it in the description box, it is a Morphe brush, and I'm going to carve out the outer V just so my eyelids are a little bit more sultry keeping that classic cat eye shape I kind of do because it suits my eyes and makes them look bigger and a little bit more smexy. I'm gonna wing it out and I'm keeping everything nice and soft so that you can't really see where you started or where you stopped it just looks nice and buffed out and smooth Next with the Too Faced I Want Candy Eyeliner in Black Licorice, or sorry, Licorice Rope, I'm going to go along my eyelid really close to my lash line. This is a brush I've never used before. I guess it's not a brush. Anyway, it's the applicator. It's kind of like a little angled felt tip. It's really unique, so I was being a little bit cautious when I was doing my eyeliner, trying to keep it nice and smooth. It's my first time using it, so I was like a little nervous, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually amazing for really beautiful, sharp, lines and this eyeliner actually lasts a really long time I always water in the outer corners of my eyes and it stayed on really well which I was impressed with and once I've filled in the kind of outer edge I kind of drag it into the center to meet with the thin line I'm not doing a super thick line today this might be thick for some people but for me this is quite modest I'm gonna go in with the Velour Lashes in See Through and the Dior Show Blackout Mascara. First, I like to put the glue on my lashes, then do my top lashes. Uh, I started to do my bottom and then I realized, hey, I gotta put this on before the glue dries. So, mind the uh, lash glue on my fingers. I'm just gonna wiggle that down as close as I can to my lash line and pinch it together. If you're wearing false lashes and you're not used to it, it's nice to do a thin line to help hide the band if you are somebody who can't quite get it to be undetectable. So this is a great way to hide any mistakes with the liner and they just kind of blend into each other. I'm gonna go in and do the bottom lashes and I'm putting a tiny bit of mascara on the top. These are softer lashes than I would normally do because I think for a date. You might not want to have big old spidery lashes, but if you do, you do you and live your life. I just thought I'd do something a little softer and more romantic for this uh, a little look. Next with the NYX Lip Lingerie in Seductive, which is very perfect for our theme today. I'm going to fill in my lips. Looks like I'm going slow, but I'm trying to do it quickly before it totally dries because I'm actually going to align my lips with the NARS Lip Liner in Cassis. And I want to do this while my lips are still wet because that'll help me with my ombre. I'm going to use this to overdraw my lips so they look really nice and big and juicy and this is also a very kiss proof lip combo so you just want to darken the edges and rub your lips together so it blends and that's why it's important that the lip lingerie is still wet otherwise it will not blend and it'll be very dry feeling so just blend it while it's wet and you'll have nice overdrawn lips.
So that completes the look. I think we look very schmexy. You're gonna kill the game. You're looking like a snack. You can lick your lips all you want. Be LL Cool J and the lipstick will not come off. And this was a suggestion from my last video. I asked you guys what you wanted to see. Let me know what you guys want to see next and any Halloween video ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself. Stay pretty. Happy date night. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.